The car looks better than it did last night. My goodness, the purple. So we still need to fasten up the front end. You can see that this panel, we still need to pop that in place. Side reflectors need to go in, but then the front of the car will be finished. It looks fantastic. So today is gonna to be a big day for us. We are gonna be finally wrapping the A pillar and the roof. And then the car is really gonna to start to take shape. So today's video is gonna be a, uh, a how-to type video, I guess you might say. So Clayton and I are gonna sort of talk about how to wrap a car. Um, the main thing, honestly, is preparation. Like if you don't prepare properly, you're not gonna get a good finish. So right now, Clayton is cleaning the roof, the A-pillar. He's getting down in these tiny little seams. This is one of the most critical parts because a lot of dirt gets down in there. And if it's not clean, the vinyl's not gonna adhere to the surface. So before you even begin wrapping a car, the most important thing is to clean the car extensively. So you're gonna wash the car just like you would any other way, but before applying the vinyl, you're gonna use isopropyl alcohol on the entire surface, and that's basically to remove all residue. We're talking wax, dirt, grime, all get that off the surface of the paint so that the vinyl can adhere directly to the clear coat. So Clayton's doing that right now. I'm gonna begin getting this front end um, back together, fastened up, and then we will do the roof. It's gonna be so cool. So we're gonna wrap the roof in three sections. We have the A pillar, the top of the roof, and then the A pillar on the other side. And the reason for this is that that section is so wide that the vinyl, we, we just don't have enough, we don't have an option. So, Clayton is putting down the knifeless tape right now, which is critical when wrapping a car, because as you guys will see soon, it is a magic material, and we don't have to use a razor blade on the paint. So, a lot of preparation goes into uh, getting a car ready before actually laying the vinyl down. We're measuring the length of this A-pillar slash C-pillar thing. Very critical step, because if you cut the vinyl too short, you're screwed. Clayton is gonna show us a quick trick. So he has the squeegee hugged up against the A-pillar, and then he's gonna use the razor blade to make the most precise cut. It's a beauty in motion right there. The steady hands. You're distracting me. Oh. I need to act mature right now. Now we're gonna peel up the vinyl after that cut. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, they're both on? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. Oh, it looks so good with the purple, Does. too. It makes it look a lot like better. Like a loony thing. Yeah. All right, the front end has been pretty much all buttoned up. Still need to put the uh, raging bull on the car, but we'll be doing that later on. So Clayton has killed it once again. Clayton, it looks so good. Not an easy piece to wrap. Looks so good. Now we are gonna do the whole roof. And this, guys, this is gonna pull the car together so much. It looks incredible. The orange side reflectors, I'm wondering if maybe I should have gone clear but uh, I don't know, maybe a few future modification. But wow, just look at it standing there. So Clayton is putting on the knifeless tape right now here on the roof. And then I'm 
Working on the back right now, we're gonna be wrapping this piece here next. So just trying to loosen it up. Need to get the Lamborghini emblem off the car as well. But wow. All right, so we've been showing off Clayton's tricks. All fancy and everything, but I have one of my own tricks. So, I need to get the Lamborghini emblem off. And I can tell that there's some type of nut or bolt that's holding it in, but I have no idea what it looks like. So, using the iPhone, make sure the camera is on flash mode. Take a picture. Boom. So, there it is. I can tell, nope, oh, it's just switched on me. I can tell that it's a nut, so. That'll make taking this emblem off a lot easier. What do you think of that, Clayton? It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. So, I have to be honest, Clayton actually taught me that trick, but. Yeah, oh, say, well. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm pretty sure I saw Clayton do it first. Shh. Man, Faith, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to impress my viewers right now. They're not easily impressed either. <laughs> not at all. It's a tough crowd. So to apply the vinyl is fairly easy on a surface like this. Clayton just has the squeegee. And he's basically just pushing the air out from under the sticker. So that's pretty much all this vinyl is. Now on much more difficult surfaces you have to apply heat, which is very technical. Clayton always kills it. Roof is looking so sick. We're almost about to cut. So getting this emblem off, not quite as easy as I was hoping, so I pulled this plastic engine cover piece off. And this is gonna give me the room I need to get the emblem off. My favorite time, guys, we're using the knifeless tape. Faith is making fun of me because that was two takes right there. But that's beside the point. All right, so I've decided that today's vlog is the last vlog before the big reveal, before the entire car is purple. I just wanna make it a little bit more exciting. So I'm gonna post a few sneak preview updates on Instagram. I don't use Snapchat very much anymore because of the Instagram stories. So if you guys wanna see some behind the scenes, I'm gonna be putting it here on my Instagram stories. But as far as the YouTube daily vlogs, this is it, this is the last one, before the big reveal. So my parents are coming to visit me from Oregon. They're gonna be here Tuesday night. So we're hoping, we are hoping to make cars and coffee on Sunday. We might show up with just a purple car and orange doors if we can't finish the doors. But if we aren't finished by Sunday, I have to have this car done by Tuesday night for my parents' arrival. So, it's Friday afternoon and uh, we got a lot of work to do. So, we're doing good. I'm gonna get you guys off the tripod here real quick. We're doing, we're doing good, but we got a lot of work. I mean, we got the roof, the b Calori look right now. Got the gas cap, that was good work. But the whole back of the car still needs to be wrapped and once again it's not going to be super easy so these side vents right here i've been reading on lamborghini talk and uh it doesn't sound like a fun project trying to get those out apparently there's six tabs you have to release and it's pretty easy to break the tabs and that part right there is 300 dollars. so hopefully we don't have to do that hopefully we don't break them i mean but uh yeah the car the car is looking better than I expected. 
It looks sensational. I'm so glad I chose purple. I mean, this satin chrome purple from Vivid Vinyls, like, I searched and searched and searched for this color. Like, I've been wanting to do sort of a bright purple, and I've seen Lamborghinis that are the matte purple, but this has like the satin chrome element to it that just completely separates it from any matte purple Lamborghini that I've seen. And so when I finally saw that Vivid Vinyls had the purple I was looking for, it was so cool to be able to get it. It looks just, oh, I can't, I can't stop looking at it. I'm so, so excited. This is so much fun. It's like having a new Lamborghini all of a sudden. There we go. Now just pull. Just pull. It's gonna come right off the floor. Ooh, nice. Oh. That was pretty smooth. Oh, this is still in. That was not smooth, though. Oh, don't worry, guys. So. I got it. <clears throat> I don't have it, <laughs> guys. <laughs> they even said to unclip this. And I forgot to. Gonna... I'm just gonna paint over to clean for a yeah. second. <laughs> show, show a professional at work right now. Don't show the amateur. Just the with my... Just like... Take two. <laughs> it's nothing. See? Oh. I should have done that ah. to begin with. Okay. And same thing down here. Boom. And now, now. Oh. Ah. Even <gasps> smoother. <laughs> and bada bing. So we're wrapping all this, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah. Gin. Yeah. Right. And I didn't really drink anything. You broke one little bit. <laughs> so for 90 degree edges like this one right here, Clayton had to use the heat gun like he's about to right here. So by heating the vinyl, you can see it becomes a lot more stretchable. Is that a word? Stretchable? I think that works. That way you can sort of form the vinyl around the edges. You have to be careful with this satin chrome though, because if you heat it too much, it becomes really thin and you can actually see where the color has been warped. Here she is, <laughs> the Huracan Super Trofeo. So, crazy thing, I have never been on a racetrack in my entire life. Well, today, 